Hi guys, it's Mary Ann. And today, because it's the last day on the date of my ricotta cheese, I'm pushed and forced to make homemade cheese raviolis. We're not going to cook them, we're just going to make them, cool them down, and put them in the freezer. So, today's recipe though, I'm using from King Arthur Flour, homemade cheese raviolis. It says it makes between 28 and 30. So, we'll see. Um... I'm not doing the dough first, I'm doing the filling first because they want you to have three eggs out at room temperature and I haven't done that yet. So, we're going to put in two cups of ricotta cheese or 454 grams. This was 425 grams and this is Organic Valley ricotta cheese. So let's pour the whole thing into the bowl. Okay. Then it says it needs a quarter cup of flour. Flour. And then it says it needs four tablespoons of fresh herbs. So I've got Italian herbs and I'm only going to put in two tablespoons. And then it's calling for half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of Pecco Romano, Pecorino Romano. I don't have that, I only have Parmesan Reggiano. And I just grated up my last one. So that's done. We got one cup of that cheese. And it's calling for pepper, which I don't use. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And nutmeg. And I don't know why you use nutmeg, but I'm not going to. I should put this down. I know. I'll get this down lower. So I have it all inside my bowl here. I must say the last recipe I did, this stuff was a lot um, soupier. This is this is nice. I'm going to try and make a lot more raviolis. The last time I made them, I was making too much stuff in one day. Hmm, that smells good. So I'm going to put a lid on it. No, I'm just going to stick it in the refrigerator. I'm just going to stick it in the fridge for right now. Eggs are not at room temperature. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just go ahead. The instructions say two cups of all purpose flour, half a teaspoon of table salt, and three eggs at room temperature. Oh, and it actually says, um, add the flour and salt to a bowl of a food processor and mix. And then add in the eggs one at a time. And then, as it comes together, it'll clump up. Huh. Well, I think, I think we should go to the food processor. So let's pause and reset. Hey folks, I'm on the other side of the kitchen. So here's one cup of flour. And 
here's two cups of flour. Oh, and it called for half a teaspoon of salt. And we whiz that. Oh, no, don't do that. All right. I think I'm going to leave that down, pour it in up there. Sounds like my flour has just been delivered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's hot down there. Yeah, I don't need it opened right this minute. Yeah, that's perfect. So here's my third egg going in. Before I put that third egg in, let's get the paper. All right. So I got to continue to process it now till it forms a large clump. Okay, so this is a clump now on the food processor. I thought I was just going to do a bowl, but I didn't. And I got my table all cleaned up and ready to go. Let's see if it says to do that. To clean work surface. Oh, and this is I have to knead it. I don't have to. Okay, now it says we're supposed to knead it. Two minutes. That might be too much flour. This is almost like an egg noodle. To incorporate any loose bits, I didn't have any, and form a smooth dough, and then form the dough into a disc about one inch thick, and wrap tightly, and place it for 30 minutes in your refrigerator, or up to overnight in the refrigerator. I think it looks pretty good. One of the worst things to ever have to do. Kneading. That's why I have a kitchen aid. I don't want to need anything. That's why I have a kitchen aid. Yeah. I know a lot of people like that, but it looks smooth to me. That's nice. 
plastic wrap, please. A cystiant. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I just need a piece. Oh, that's some nice dough. Look at that. Okay, I just need a piece yeah. of plastic wrap. And just pull it up. Pull it up. Like yep. Pull, pull, pull. More, more, more. Okay, now you can pull it down and push this. You okay. have to do it, okay? okay? Don't worry about it getting tangled. Just cut okay. it. No, this blue thing. Okay. Skate, right. Scoot it. Not so hard. It's not. Okay, all right. It's plastic wrap, dude. It's the most annoying thing ever created by man. Yeah. Yeah. You want it back up on top? Yep, yeah, I'm all done. Okay. We'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, I let my dough sit in the refrigerator for about 25 minutes. It's very nice. The recipe said to cut it in half, cover this half back up. I have my cutter out. I have my scoop out. I don't have my rolling pin out. Usually, I have Mike help me with the rolling of the dough, and we usually get the pasta roller out. No, but I want to roll this out. Just see what it feels like without having to get my pasta roller out. It's this nice mat. It's got all my measurements on it. Sun, flowered, pasta thing, you know it? Yeah. I can appreciate the uh, pasta roller right now. But I am getting it flexible. Done up. Definitely exercise for your arms, your shoulders. Give it a break here. Oh, it actually tells you to use a pasta machine. But we're not doing the pasta machine because a lot of people don't have a pasta machine and think that they cannot make pasta. But that's a fault this, huh? Because if you got a good rolling pin and a good mat to roll on. Instructions it tells me that I need to have it four and three quarter inch wide. Look at that. That is some thin pasta, Michael. Look at that. It does. Alright, so here's my pasta. Here it is. So, on here I got, down here at the bottom line I got, oh, markings. So, start off at one, go to 16. So, I can go four and a half, and then nine, and 13 and a half. Okay. Because they're saying you fold it up on top of it. All right, let's just see if I've done this. Maybe I don't have to use my, and this is my pasta. Oh, this is nice ricotta cheese. There's four. Um. Now it says to wet your finger. But I might even say a brush. Why not the finger? This is what's going to glue this down. Check me out. I 
I think I uh, need my cutter. There's one little ravioli. Two, three, three little raviolis. Re-squish everything. And I have over here a pan that's got flour on it. Let's put these guys on it. Oh, my God, look at that. We're going to have cheesy raviolis. How about that? Now we'll turn this one around. I think I'm going to put this one in the middle. I think what else would be a cool tool to have is to um, have a piping bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't have um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll just take and fold this over. Squish it down on the water. Wow. That's beautiful. These are a lot better than my first ones. My first ones, they tasted okay, didn't they? They were just very big on the dough part. There's eight right there. Recipe had me put an egg in this ricotta cheese and it made it soupy. Hey, look, now I got five out. It's like finger painting. Yeah. So you fold it over and then you put your fingers in between the two to help squish out air. later in our eating repertoire. Yeah. Okay, so these are the positives that I've gotten from here today. Uh -oh. Roll my dough out thin. Use my cutter. Much smaller. Yeah, we're going to have a whole bunch of these to put in the freezer. Whole bunches. Okay, that was the first one. And it was bigger than this one. And I've also learned that this is okay, but I really like my pasta roller. Set all up. Besides, this kind of gets my arms and shoulders working. So I really want to make puff pastry. Damn. Put peaches on puff pastry. Oh, we're gonna make pie dough so we can make apple turnovers. I like to get the freezer all filled up with desserts. Eight desserts. That's for pie making. This is pasta. And this is it's tapered, so I have the fats here. Yeah. yeah. I folded this dough in half. Let's see if it's going to be any better. It won't even go on 17 minutes. I've already got 16, maybe 17 pieces. Oh, 
いなんですよ。This is for another recipe, but I just wonder if this ricotta cheese would be really good in a pie. You know, like you make a pie out of this dough. Make sure you got it sealed really good because you don't want it to explode in the hot water when you go to put it in the hot water. All right, you guys get the drift of it. I'll be back when I'm done. Well, I'm all done. I had a little bit of dough left and a little bit of cheese, so I put it in my little baker and I'm just going to stick it in my toaster oven and bake it and see what it turns out like. I got everything done. <coughs> These are going to go all into the freezer. It looks like I got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 29. Open the bottom freezer door, please. We're back up to seeing me. I think that did pretty good. I started about four, a little after four. Oh, come on. This thing is going crazy. I started a little bit after four, and I got everything done within an hour. So, I think that's pretty good. I still have to clean up my table, but. And they actually say to uh, put the pasta in the heavy water. Yeah. But um, this was a great recipe. And it said prep time was 40 minutes. And they bake, but they meant cook. And total, uh, one hour and 10 minutes. And it's been an hour and 15 minutes or so. But I'm all done, and the purpose of me doing those today was to put them in the freezer so I had freezer stock. Because I did some roasted tomato sauce and put them in scooping balls, and I think I have about 12 or 15 of those, so that'll make a great sauce with heavy whipping cream and then boiled ravioli stuck in. Mm. 